This is Twit. Facebook is removing trending topics. Yeah. What? This was uh, this was the intractable uh, problem they couldn't solve, which was basically the fake news problem, right? The trending the, topics. It, it couldn't the, be done with humans. News, the it, fake it, accusations from conservatives that there is bias. And the fact that nobody looks at them to begin with. I I had to go out of my way to, to remember where they were on my Oh, really? Screen. You didn't know. I, how, whoever looks at those damn things. Apparently, 1.5% of publisher clicks come from trending news. So, trending, so it, it's essentially a non-product to begin with that's caused them nothing but anguish thanks to all the controversy. So why not get rid of it? Yeah, actually, if we hadn't told people it was going away, they may have exactly. never, exactly. never ever noticed. Let me just see what's trending today right it's on the right I, by the way yeah, if you haven't looked yeah, yeah. For, uh whoops it's re it's oh the page is still building and now it's pushed down here marjorie stoneman does it douglas high school honored honoring its uh shooting victims That's dallas cool. woman says she killed her husband for beating their pet cat <laughs> and a suspect is arrested after sh shooting in san diego and look <laughs> a big announcement from facebook we're removing yeah. trending news soon to make way for future news we're actually destroying your house to make way for a inters interspace bypass, yeah. or whatever it was, right? Yeah, well, I think <laughs> nobody's sitting in front of this the... bulldozer. I can tell you right now. <laughs> I think this is related Hyperspace to the article bypass. we've got further down here from Chartbeat, and Chartbeat is a company that puts analytics inside of web pages. And what they're now saying is that news sites are now getting more traffic direct on mobile phones and they are via Facebook. So over the last five years, we've seen news sites say that they want Facebook to send them traffic. And what they've realized is they actually just start telling people to come directly to their sites, people will. Yeah. And so now that the split has happened where the majority of people used Facebook to get the news, now they're going directly to people's, to the brand's websites. And As they're all getting Google very news. excited about it. I, I see, I usually, I, I'm still a heavy Google news user to, to you know, on my, especially on my mobile. I like and the new Google. Be honest with you, uh, the new Google News beats Apple News. Beats uh, it's it's actually. If I show you my uh, phone, it's on the front page of my phone. It's uh, I really like it. And their algorithms are good. Yeah, and they're well. They do something I think is uh, is admirable, and they 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 trumpeted this. If you'll forgive the inadvertent mm -hmm. pun, they trumpeted this at uh, Google I/O. They said. We're going to, uh, there's going to be Leo's briefing. You know, there's the the top five stories for Leo. But then everything else, the headlines, everybody who re reads it will get the same headlines. Which you, I think is absolutely essential. We're not going to do the algorithm on news. Right. And I think that's right. actually really admirable. I agree. That's probably I, the real story here is the failure of algorithms. Yeah. I well, call AI, I said AI from now on, it stands for algorithmic idiocy. Well, the, the fact is that the idea of tailoring, tailoring news around your biases, basically, yeah, to me, uh, what it, could it, go it, wrong? It's a challenge to democracy, right? <laughs> you're conservative, you get conservative news. You're liberal, you get liberal news. How does that help us resolve any of our problems? Seth, you probably know better than anybody. How much tra What's the most? What are important traffic drivers for your your publications? Uh, so in this space, Apple News is clearly a big one. Um, Flipboard, strangely, or not strangely. Well, uh, Flipboard's still huge on, uh, on iOS, right? I mean, it's on Android, right. but I think it's huge on iOS, yeah. Right. And then, you know, obviously Google News and then, you know, all the search, different search, uh, it basically but the different Facebook? ways Google sends traffic. Facebook is in, and Twitter are both kind of middle ground. We don't, we don't, we never invested in any kind of Facebook anything right. because I kind of felt like Facebook wasn't really our buddy. Um, they didn't really you were seem very like, right, you know, weren't you? You turned out to be right when everybody else yeah. chased Facebook. Yeah, I mean, Facebook was also handing out a lot of cash to some uh, publishers to to work with them. So, you know, it wasn't it wasn't dumb. I I, I probably if somebody gave me a, you know half a million dollars, I would have probably done some Facebook videos. But um, you know, we still push out to Facebook. We didn't you know delete Facebook or anything. But um, and we do have an audience there. I think we have like. 300,000 people on nine to five Mac and, and, you know, a few less on the other sites. So we're, you know, we use Facebook like everybody else, but we don't really promote it. Um, we don't say, Hey, you know, go to our Facebook page or anything like that. 
Yeah, we did the uh, Twit did the same thing on a much smaller scale than you guys, but Twit did the same thing with both YouTube and Facebook. I never really trusted either of those platforms uh, to look out for my own best interests, just as you said, Greg. Uh, they're not. Yeah, they're not. 